10th time I'm filming this. Hey guys, so today in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make Kaiser Charmin, which is a pancake from Austria. And I don't know how to pronounce the name very well, so sorry for butchering it, but I'll just lay it up here. Um, it is basically a light, fluffy, and caramelized pancake that is a lot fluffier than the normal American pancake because of the egg whites when you whip it up. And instead of it being thinly sliced and served, like, well not thin, but kind of, you know, average size, like the American version, it's actually chunks of it, and then the when you cook it, it's a lot more thicker. And yeah, I think it's a cool contrast between the two countries, and I definitely advise you to try this out because it tastes quite different but still the same. Usually it's served with a variety of toppings including blueberries, raspberries, plums, maple syrup, honey, just anything you would put on top of a pancake. I also tried to increase the quality of the video if you guys will notice, hopefully. Enough talking and let's get started! The ingredients. So first off you'll need raisins which is completely optional, blueberries, milk, flour, eggs, butter, unsalted, sugar, vanilla flavoring, salt, and almond flakes. First, crack the egg and separate the egg yolk and egg white in a separate bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so in one bowl is the egg whites and the other is the egg yolks. First, measure some vanilla essence and put it into your mixture. Then gradually pour your milk. Now mix it together. Then keep pouring in more milk. Now add in your sugar. And mix! Sprinkle a bit of salt. Measure out your flour, and then slowly add it into the mix while mixing it. Keep adding in flour. Now using an electric mixer, mix your egg whites until they become a foamy-ish consistency. Like this would be nice. Now scooping that into your mixture, use the spoon and mix it in sort of a folding motion. It looks so velvety and smooth. Now cut up the butter and then put it into the pan. Wait for it to melt and then now add your mixture. The layer of the mixture should be thick in the pan because this isn't a normal pancake so it should look like this. Wait for about 5 minutes for the bottom layer to get golden and then we're going to flip it. This part does get messy because there is a lot of the mixture on top of the pancake but that's okay, just flip it. When you feel like it has been cooked, divide it into smaller pieces. Pour it onto a plate and next I will teach you how to plate it. Basically you just take some of it and put it onto the middle of the plate, enough for about a serving of one person. 
Then using some clean blueberries, place that on top. Now we're gonna use some confectioner sugar or icing sugar and then sift some of it on top and then also sprinkle with almond flakes. Then now top it all off with maple syrup. You can use different variations of toppings, it can be whatever you like. And this is the final product. Okay, so I'm here to try this out that I just made. So yeah, let's hope this is good. Have some blueberries as well. Mm. It's really good, it's a great mix of flavors. The fruit really adds um, a little punch to the flavors. So that was the end of my tutorial on how to make Austrian pancakes or whatever the name is, I can't pronounce it. And this is unfortunately the last video that I'm making for my YouTube channel. If you're wondering, I may continue videos in the, in the future, and but they might not be related to a certain culture but will be related to food. And if you guys do try out any of my creations, please tag me on Instagram or message me or just show me and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't seen my other videos that I've created, I will link them um, in the description along with the method and also at the end of the video. And yeah, that's about it. And I might see you guys next time. Bye!